Hi everyone! Today we will talk about embroidery, eyelid and jacquard. So let's start our lesson number 13. I'm sure you can create any kind of embroidery using pen tool. I would recommend to do this in Adobe Illustrator because vector technique allows you to sketch all embroidery in the faster way. So something like this definitely will not take long time. Let's open this file in our favorite Photoshop. We know already if your file is final, you can check Antialyzed on, so artwork will look softer and more realistic, which is better for presentation. If we are not sure about colors yet, keep Antialyzed off. In this case, we can change colors later and create as many colorways as we want. Be sure you have key proportion checked, resolution 200 dpi, Mode RGB. Let's open with Antialyzed Unchecked. We have embroidery floating, don't flatten image. Let's make another layer so embroidery stays in separate layer. Go to Layer, Layer Style, Bevel and Emboss. Choose Emboss. With slider you can adjust thickness of your line, level of emboss and shading angle. We can see your embroidery stitches become more realistic. If we want to attract more attention to the stitches, we can continue to apply layer effects. Check texture. Look what kind of pattern do you have. Maybe we can use some of them as a texture. If not, find one in the texture library. I would go to texture icon. For instance, choose fill texture, click on any. This texture is interesting. But to imitate the feeling of real thread, we can play with scale. I like this size. We can adjust light accordingly. Pay attention. You can use almost any texture what you have. See, I have regular stripes from previous projects. If I reduce scale a lot, it will also look as a thread texture. Click OK. Now, I think this area is made by different techniques. I would say satin stitch. I want to separate it from main embroidery. With magic wand, select corresponding areas, make cut, Ctrl C and paste, Ctrl V. Go again to layer style, choose emboss, try several textures. I like this one. Play with scale. One more trick. Go back to bevel and emboss. Find shading angle. If we check global angle, light will go from the same angle for all effects for all layers. See, we change angle and light changing for all threads. Let's uncheck global angle. Now we can change light only for this particular effect. Texture for satin stitch. Click OK. Look how realistic this embroidery looks. Can we create any texture by ourselves? Easy. Open new file. Let's do one by one. Create any texture you think appropriate for your embroidery. You don't have to be very accurate. It's very tiny. Just try to be possibly even. And make it black and white. Select all. Go to edit, define pattern. Now go back to your working layer. Instead of go again to layer style, just double click to layer effect. Go to texture, scroll down, see our new texture is here. Play with scale and depth and you can achieve desirable effect. We can put any embellishment on the top. I'd like to add few pearl beads. Create a new layer. With elliptical marquee tool, create a few circles Fill it with white or off-white. Then go to Layer, Layer Style. Start with Bevel and Emboss. Choose Inner Bevel. Play with all slider to achieve better emboss effect. Don't forget we are trying to assemble a pearl. 
Then I will play with drop shadow and inner shadow. Not bad. Also, I'd like to use inner glow. Choose source center. It will give the illusion pearl shines from the center. And then I can add stroke effect. It enhances the depth. Pay attention. The different combination of all those effects can turn your pearl in something totally different. Duplicate layer. Move pearl like design to other flower. Reduce it. Now you can double click to effect and change outer bevel. Then go to each option and try to achieve opposite effect. When you click OK, it looks like sequence. With a razor make a little holes. Double click again. With changing gloss contour, make you look more dramatic. We can change the color. Our next step is eyelid. We can add uh, some eyelid detail to the same embroidery. Go to first layer. With magic wand, select the areas you want to add eyelid. For instance, this, this, and this. Go to select, modify, expand, choose maybe two. Then go to embroidery layer, delete embroidery in those areas. Go to the background layer and create one more above background. Fill with white. Now go to layer, layer style, choose inner shadow and check global angle. Change contour to straight. Playing with slider you can achieve visual effect of real holes. Click OK. Look, we have embroidery with real eyelid effect. We can enhance it. Now, let's talk about jacquard. A jacquard weave is created through a loom process, which is programmed to raise each warp thread independently on the other threads. The design on, of the jacquard fabric is incorporated into the weave, instead of being printed or dyed onto the fabric. I'm not going to explain the actual technique. There is a lot on YouTube, something like this. I'll show how to achieve visual jacquard effect for presentation of project request for factory. Open scan file. Let's open new layer and trace design with contrast color. I'd recommend to make a repeat first. Please see my lesson number one and number two straight and half drop repeat. Go to layer, layer style, bevel and emboss. Choose emboss, adjust thickness of your lines, level of emboss and shading angle. Check texture, you can use some of library pattern as a texture. But to achieve better effect, we can create jacquard own texture. Create one more layer, we can call it texture layer. Zoom in, choose line tool, Trace scanned image texture.
Make a repeat from here to here. Fill it with white and black. Then go to Edit Define Pattern. Double click on Effect. Click on Texture Pattern. Choose our pattern. See, we have jacquard design level. We always can adjust depth and scale. Now, select our pattern. Flip it horizontally. Go to Edit Define Pattern. Then go to Design Layer. Go to Layer Style, Copy Layer Style. Then copy background layer and fill it with random color. Go to Layer Style, Paste Layer Style. Double click, click Texture and change pattern to the new pattern. Click OK. Now we have a design made of part with different color and texture angles. Choose the color you want your design to be. With Bucket 2, Contiguous Unchecked, fill your design layer and background layer. See, now we have a jacquard design made of texture only. If you want, you can make your design more complicated. Add a new layer and create some new elements. To make it easier, use some bright color. Then go to our texture layer, find our texture repeat and change the angle again. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. Go Edit Define Pattern. Go to Layer, Style, Paste Layer Style. Double click, click Texture and change pattern to the new pattern. Isn't it pretty? Now. What if you want to create large layout for presentation? Let's try our favorite method. Select all, go edit, define pattern. Create a new file with bigger canvas. Go to edit, fill, fill with pattern. Mm, do you like it? Definitely not. Look at these lines. So, in this case, we will come up with some different method. First, create background copy and fill it with our main color. Go to repeat file, go to background copy layer, click on effect icon and drag it to the new background copy layer. In this case, layer effect will be applied to corresponding layer of new file. Now, Go back to repeat file, go to the next layer, close layer effect and close all other layers. Select all, go edit, define pattern. Go to main file, create new layer, edit, fill, fill with pattern. Then go to repeat file, open layer effect and drag it to the new layer. See, our jacquard design is already here. We still have one more layer in a repeat file. Go to third layer, close layer effect and close all other layers. Again, select all, edit, define pattern. Go to main file, new layer, edit, fill, fill with pattern. Go to repeat file, Open layer effect and drag it to corresponding layer. We can continue to create more layers in repeat file and make our design more and more complicated. But I think even now it looks pretty neat and realistic, isn't it? So now we know how to create embroidery, eyelid and jacquard in Adobe Photoshop. Next time we will go back to print design. I'm going to show you more tricks 
for a peak and cleaning for watercolor print. Please subscribe to my channel, like it if you still didn't, and please don't forget to check your bell. See you soon.